Hello, it's Melissa here. I am going to show you the details of how I put a course from a picture into the Clean Run Course Designer software. So today we have this submission by Mike. And first, he's got a 50 by 70 course, so I'm going to make sure my course map matches that. Edit course size. The width is going to be 50. The height is going to be 70. He has it in portrait mode. So now they've got we've got that. Then I'm going to count up the number of jumps that he has because this is a jumpers course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven jumps. There's the jump wingless jump button. Now you can see that this is wingless and this is wingless with a one on it. What that's telling us is that this is one bar. Generally this it means a two bar. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to use this one. That way the one doesn't interfere with some of the lines and things that we will be drawing later on. But you will notice on AKC maps that there are ones, one jumps designated, one bar jumps. This is the repeat button. I click that so I don't have to make multiple trips to that, click that one bar. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn it off. You can either do that by clicking here or there. He has two tunnels and down here he says a 15 and a 20. Click the tunnel button. Easy to learn, two bendable sections. I like two bendable because it's um, easy to manipulate. If you put many more sections, it's easy to get squirrely looking tunnels. So we have a 15 foot, 24 inch diameter. Boom. And then we're going to click it again. We're going to do a custom length of 20. Boom. Now I want to get these approximately where he's got them on the map. So we'll start with a tunnel down here. You can see the 20 and 30 lines and the 10 and 20 lines. So we're just going to take this tunnel and kind of shape it in there. Out there. Now let's do the other tunnel. Get it out of the way. So he's got it up there by the 10. It's really close to the edge. So we'll do this. Now this is where the precise arcs do help. You can see he's got this in a very distinct C shape. So if I go to the properties, fixed angle 180, you can see I have a C shape. I just spin it around and there we go. It makes a perfect C shape, C shape for us. But you can also notice that I can't manipulate the ends anymore. Now let's do the jumps. We have a jump coming out of that tunnel at about the 50 line, about 50 and 30. We have another over on the right hand side that's just a little bit higher than the 30, but close to the edge. We have a jump up the top here that's almost to the 60. We have a jump over here that is above the 20 and about on the 40. Maybe up in there. And we have another down here coming out of this tunnel. That's between the 10 and the 20 and over right about there for the 10 there. Put it there. This one's about on the 30. And then we have this little guy turned perpendicular. That is about between the 10 and the 15, about between the 10 and the 20, and then teeing up against this jump there. And there you have it. I've basically got a rough draft of Mike's submission.